Let's go over the future of the Star Wars franchise. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, with Solo A Star Wars Story now out in theaters and Star Wars Episode Nine releasing at the very end of 2019, alongside with both a Kenobi movie and the Boba Fett film in the works, we also have Ryan Johnson's trilogy and the creators of Game of Thrones and their set of Star Wars movies and many Star Wars TV shows out there as well as an animated movie. Now, looking at all of this, with everything that we have been learning about the future of this franchise these past couple of days, one thing that's really exciting is that both Disney and Lucasfilm are not done by using the character of Darth Vader in their Star Wars movies. And this honestly brings up a lot of questions for sure. Now, exactly how will Darth Vader fit into a Star Wars movie in the future? Now, we do know that Darth Vader was used in Rogue One, a Star Wars story, which I believe was a great and excellent choice. We got to see his castle, and even the creators of Rogue One had teased that they really do and plan on reintroducing his castle at some point in time in the future in a future anthology or Star Wars movie. So right then and there, that would bring us right back to Darth Vader. Now looking at Vader, so far the only projects that we know of that are currently in the works that would and could possibly involve Vader is the Kenobi movie and the Boba Fett film. And maybe if they really wanted to give him a flashback in Star Wars Episode 9, which I think that's kind of reaching there. but. Looking at everything else here, there's also a Star Wars animated movie in the works, in case you guys didn't hear about that. I talked about that in my last couple of videos. We actually learned about that just yesterday. So could Vader quite possibly be a part of the Star Wars animated movie? Now, with that being all done and said, I think that what I would love to see is maybe, and we know nothing about the creators of Game of Thrones and their Star Wars movies, other than the fact that it's going to be catered to adults, it's going to be a violent series, and even Amelia Clark has said that it's going to be basically Star Wars on acid. So a lot of crazy things are set to happen with their movies. Me personally, I would love a Jedi Purge movie where it all focuses on Jedi and hiding across the whole entire galaxy, where Darth Vader could be used as a supporting character, where he could actually get an indirect Vader movie right then and there, where it's really about the Jedi and the Jedi hiding around the whole entire galaxy and forming an alliance, and then you have Vader as a supporting character. I think that would be the best way to do things. Now, looking at Darth Vader, quite possibly in a Kenobi movie, that's another option, and even maybe even in the Boba Fett film, because we do know and have seen both Boba and Darth Vader next to each other in The Empire Strikes Back, so there's that dynamic as well. So there's a lot of potential that they could use for the character of Darth Vader, and it's honestly really great to know that they're not finished with the character just yet in their Star Wars movies. But once again, this could also apply to their Star Wars animated movie, which we honestly know nothing about that as of yet. It's said to be, you know, just our direct animated movie, that's all we know. Probably very much similar to what we got in the Clone Wars, telling us a story in between two films. And I would like to see, perhaps, a story that is centered around maybe even the original trilogy or the sequel trilogy. Now, looking at Vader once again, I would like a more personal side to his story if they are using him again in the future. In Rogue One, we got a little glimpse at that of him in his Bacta tank in his castle. We saw him, you know, recuperating and... That's when Director Krennic comes in, and that's when he gets out of that back the tank and suits up. I would love to see a more in-depth look at his meditation chamber that we got in The Empire Strikes Back. I think that him thinking about his wife Padme and her death and what he had done to her and what he had done to himself would be a great side to Darth Vader that we have never seen before on film. So anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about this, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.